Hey, what's up, guys? So, like I said, if you get the uh, PA done, don't be scared. Go in there, do your best, and just try to relax. Let them do their job. They're going to uh, make you sit down in a chair. Um, someone's going to put a piece of like tissue paper over your lap, and then they're going to put a... Um, they're gonna put a uh, a uh, piece of tissue paper over your lap, and it's gonna your dick's gonna go through like this hole on it, and then they're gonna come. A lady's gonna come in. Um, I had a lady do mine, thank God. And then they're gonna have she's gonna come in and um, sit you down, put the chair back, and then she gotta get take like this needle, and she's gonna basically like shove it through the hole in your dick out the bottom. And then after she does that, she's going to take the piece of jewelry and make it go in and then out the other side. And um, uh, for me personally, it, was, it felt like a sharp pinch. It hurt. I passed out. I was knocked out. They had to get a water bottle to spray me down with. They sprayed me down with the water bottle. And then they had, um, they had, uh, they gave me some orange juice. And then after that, I woke up while well, I was already up. And then they, uh, I paid them the money. And then hard work. And then I left some tacos over in Queens. I got the tacos, green aioli sauce, red chili sauce, and it had like feta cheese on it. Those tacos were so fire. It was like three for ten. And then. I went uh, back to my place in Yonkers, and the funny thing is, I was bleeding for about two weeks straight. I had blood in my pants. I eventually, it went away. And, um, all this was pretty. Uh, I thought about getting this done. I thought about it for about three months until I finally made the decision to go and do it. And it was worth it. So all in all, you guys, um, if you want to get the PA done, just go for it. It's a little bit scary, but sometimes you got to face your fears, man, and just get that shit done. Get the PA. Let them shove that thing right through your dick, and then they're going to walk away feeling like a good man. It's going to make you feel confident. It's going to make you feel like the real deal. And then, um, you know, at first, like, the ring, the ball, there's, like, two balls on the um, piercer. The one goes through the top, and then the other ball goes through the bottom. And, um, like, you know, like I said, it's kind of scary, and it kind of hurts. So what? Face your fear and do it. And when you do it, you're gonna be happy you did it. You're gonna, it's like with anything. Like if you're afraid to get into a fight and somebody is really challenging you and you don't wanna fight and you don't really know what to do. You might be kind of hesitant, you might be kind of scared, but then when you actually step in and you fight and you do what you're supposed to do, even if you get beat up, you're going to feel more of a man because you stood up for yourself and you did something and you faced your fears and all that good stuff. So like I said, if you get this PA done, it's, it's like, it's a similar thing. So, get it done. It's okay to try not to hesitate too much. You should just set your appointment and go in there. Set your appointment for one day. Walk over to there. Walk over to the wherever the place is. Get have your money ready, and then have them do the procedure. And if you're afraid to have them do the procedure the first time, come back the second time. And you don't do it the second time. Go back and do it the third time until you get it done. Because you don't want to live your whole life thinking, what would my girl have thought 
what if, what if that could have been really good for our relationship? What if my wife and girlfriend, you know, what if, what if she really appreciated it, or she, what if she really would have appreciated it, but I never found out? Like, why would you want to live like that, yeah, with a regret like that? I mean, I have, like, it's hard, it's hard to live like that, and so, that's why, if, if you do it, you'll know that, like, you tried something new, you did something um, that was risky, I was a little scary, and it's going to add to your confidence, your masculinity, it's going to look good, um, you might not feel good for the first time when you're doing it, but just know that it's a short, short period of time where you're going to have a little bit of pain, and then it goes away. That pain's not gonna last forever. It subsides after, like, after after like a month. You're not gonna feel any pain. Maybe two months, and then like after six months, you don't even know it's there. But kind of the funny thing that's happened is when I go piss. <laughs> Sometimes piss comes out the other hole where the metal goes through. So you got like, I don't want to say two streams of piss, but you got one stream of piss, and then piss drips out the hole. So you gotta kind of be a little bit careful with the hole. But that doesn't really bother me. It's not like you got you got two pee holes. It's got like a little bit of dripping comes out of the bottom of it. So it's really not that big of a deal. Like, just get it done. I got it done. Uh, it was like, I planned it. Took about three months. I finally did it. And it was awesome. It's it definitely worth it. So like I said, uh, if you guys can, hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. I try to do more videos. Uh, my name is Scribs. Once again, that's S-C-R-I-B-Z-7-7. I'm on Instagram. I have the artwork. I'm the art. The art man. I have this art piece of artwork available right now. It's called King Pet. So, hope you guys enjoy that. Like I said, just hit that subscribe button, and I'll talk to you later.